hello it's AJ thanks for clicking on this video and per usual I'm doing a car intro <laughs> to the video so this video is going to be the workout chest and tries from um, yesterday because that was the day that I went hiking had some wonderful Mediterranean food had even better company with Lene talking about competition suits. So if you haven't watched that video, it's the one right before this one. Um, we discuss composition, composition suits and what to look for and common questions. So is this an intro to competition suits? Um, I plan on doing future videos on different cuts, showing them to you. I'm talking about it, talking about the different federations. There's a lot on my paperwork as to content. So I'm very excited to what's to come. But for this video, it is triceps and chest at a gym called Big Tex in Austin. And um, because the YMCA was closed yesterday for holiday, so you watching the video click like subscribe make your comments I know I'm on repeat with that um, and let me know what your thoughts are at the end of the video I am going to um, put the workout okay so if you want to try it remember always maintain your form it's not about hitting the PRs it's intensity okay whatever your intensity is and another topic I'll talk about because everyone's always shooting for PRs and that's great but if you don't have proper form forget about it someone says that I forget who but anyways thank you so much for clicking this video thank you for your support and if you aren't following me on Instagram my Instagram is transformed with AJ but you find it at AJ underscore athlete all right and I will post it somewhere on here in the description or whatnot okay you guys have a wonderful week happy tuesday today is tuesday but it may be another day when you're watching this but um have a great day and take care I always start with some form of low intensity steady state cardio just to get the blood flowing to prep myself for the workout. Alrighty, let's go. So after cardio, I did some upper body stretches, focus on the chest, and we are beginning the session with the bench chest press with the barbell. You can see here that I am setting up. People ask me why my back is arched a lot of the times, thinking it's wrong. But if you do the research, if you have engage your upper body and you arch your back, you actually protect your back more so. And it is supersetted with wide push-ups. So I'm going deep. I'm doing elevated to get a stronger range of motion. And because it's supersetted, I'm not going too heavy today with the bench weight itself, because I'm going back to back and then resting for a minute. But you'll see here, I'm setting up and engaging my upper body and ensuring my glutes are on the bench, okay? Breathing appropriately, going down deeper, and then I'm resetting and going immediately off to my push-up, super setting again, going deep. My neck is neutral along with my spine, so keep your back straight. Yippee! After a minute or so, I'm doing my last working set. I'm doing about 135 here. It's not a PR, it's probably about RPE seven or six or seven. I'm doing, because I'm supersetting, I'm pre-exhausting my strength. So I don't wanna go too heavy and fatiguing the muscles. Cause you really do, if you do that option, it helps build up strength as well.
second exercise group is also a superset. I am doing the flat bench dumbbell press. And you see, based on the angle of the elbows, you actually connect different areas of your chest muscles, engaging them and building them for strength. And the platform is basically the same with my back you know, keeping the upper body steady. Again, same platform here, superset it with lies. And this also helps engage the center line peg. Just make sure you focus on that area as you pursue these. So moving on to the next round, I am doing progressive overload. So I think I increased by five pounds. I believe this is 40 pounds here. And just doing the flat bench thing, maintaining form, focus on my breathing, engaging my core and my back against the bench. Immediately after doing the flies, and you'll see here that I increased weight by five pounds again. Just making sure the tempo is steady. I'm very particular when it comes to pace and form with my movements. It's not about how heavy the weight is, it's about the form itself. This exercise is a standalone. I did not superset it. It is engaging the lower part of your pecs. You notice that my form is very precise of my movements in engaging that lower section. I pause at the top firmly for a second to two before releasing it down. This is one of my favorite chest exercises using the what most people call the reverse pec deck. I sit and do isometric on this, isolating one side of the body just to ensure I have the formal engagement or the proper engagement. You can see that I'm adjusting the seat here to ensure that my alignment is properly and I have my hand on my chest to make sure that the muscles being engaged and activated. And I do each side separately so that way it really is a controlled movement. Yay, finished with formal chest exercises and moving on to triceps. I'm using the cable machine here with an incline bent over knee position to formally really engage and activate the part of the tricep that's known as bat wings. And if you see using cables, it really does help isolate the resistance. So back to supersetting. This time I'm doing narrow stance push-ups. The difference between wide stance and narrow stance is that the wide engages more of your chest area and this um, stance engages more of your triceps. Another superset in queue is the cable rope pull down. This is a very popular one that most people utilize when building triceps. And I also do a bent over version of overhead tricep press. These activate different portions of your long head and really help with forming up the tricep area. So again, another round of the tricep cable pull downs with a little heavier weight, exhausting the muscle. And this time I'm just bent over doing overhead press. Different angles promote different muscle engagement, so find out what works best for you and just be consistent about it. All right incorporating posing as part of my wrap-up. 
This will be more consistent as we progress through the months. Just working on getting a body condition to different poses, looking at different angles and what's accentuating the muscle. It's very important when it comes to posing to critique yourself and to know that the different angles do help and activate or they help activate different muscles. So if you're competing, make sure that you practice posing on a regular basis. Um, so I am swinging on my back porch, just enjoying the hot, hot Texas heat, finished cardio, and wanted to do an outro. And I'm not sure if y'all guys enjoyed the commentary um, with the voiceover or whatnot, so let me know in the comments what you think. And um, with everything I post, I try to give a takeaway, so when it comes to chest and tries. It is a very popular bro workout um, when it comes to bodybuilding, and there is good science as to why. Um, they're very complementary muscle groups that you're engaging. Um, also, some people may do chest and delts because that's also complementary and add that with tries. Um, but I wanted to talk about, you know, working chest because a lot of women um, focus on upper body. They work on their delts and their back, biceps and tri some triceps, that's another area. So working chest and triceps, I think is often overlooked when it comes to balancing the body out um, from a functional fitness perspective. Um, as you know, I'm very into ensuring balance okay with all types of practices being embedded into um, your fitness programming um, when it comes to muscle ligaments tendons and flexibility and mobility and endurance so that was a mouthful um, but several women don't necessarily want to do chest because they may have breast augmentations and I'm going to be upfront with you um, I'm not a medical doctor my sister is, and I've talked to her about it, but um, the information that I'm relaying to you right now is just from my perspective as a health coach, okay, that, that practices fitness and working with my clients and also that have had um, breast augmentation and also myself. Some of you guys may not know, but you know, way back when in my mid to late 30s, I did get breast augmentation. Surprise, surprise, I'm sure some of my family are probably, probably like jaws dropped. Um, but anyways, I got them for me. It is a personal preference, reasonings, that's your call, okay? But I'm here to talk about not necessarily being afraid of working chest when or if you have breast augmentation done. Now, Keep in mind that after surgery, you will need to take it easy. Follow the guidance of your doctor that performed the surgery. Don't follow the guidance of Google and do not follow the guidance of a coach or trainer or even a friend. 
because the medical doctor is the one that's accountable for your health, okay? Obviously, you need to do the research, you need to fact check, but um, when it comes to breast augmentation, for the most part, you want to keep, you don't want to work out upper body for at least two weeks to allow recovery because your body's inflamed, you're going to hurt, and you want things to settle, okay? And then once you get the clear, it's typically about six weeks, you can start with light, lighter weight. And even though you have breast, you know, breast augmentation, you don't want the muscles to tighten. Those of you that have had it um, know about the massaging and all that good stuff, and it varies per the type of um, augmentation you get under the muscle, partial, and also the, the specific, specific ingredient, I guess, what the, what the um, insert is, is, is made of, okay? Um, that, that will impact your recovery and everyone recovers differently, okay? Even with the same surgery and the same surgeon, just like everyone just needs to understand we're all different. There's, there's not a one fits all when it comes to your health, period, in, any, in, in anything. So if you opt to get breast augmentation, um, make sure that you, again, follow the doctor's advice. Um, Start slowly, allow yourself to heal, and make sure you're mindful of complementary exercises that will engage the chest, chest, although it's not chest day, because that's very important, okay? Um, the, your trainer or coach should be able to guide you with those exercises. If not, you can comment below or message me and I can offer some exercises to start with once you get the clear. Um, but even once you get the clear, you just don't go for your regular PR. I mean, you go body weight. Even even if you're using body weight, it's not like push-ups is, is not an easy, modified push-ups when you get a breast augmentation. So build up slowly and um, allow yourself to recover, okay? And because it's important, just like the massaging is that you also build up the strength in your chest. Um, that's where the um, balance or imbalances can come in. But give it time, okay? Um, and also don't go too heavy because you don't want to shift stuff either. If you, if you gradually build, it's kind of like fat loss. If you lose weight too fast, the chances are your skin elasticity will not sustain the, the quick weight loss. I'm sorry if you hear noise, it's garbage day. Um, so excuse that. All right. Well, with that being said, the dumpster man is coming and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, oops. Click like, subscribe, comment all your comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. And what I think I'll be doing is maybe pulling some questions from below and also answering them in future videos. Okay. All right. Gotta go. Have a great day. Bye.